I don't know what you call this, but I call this a clevis shackle. At least that's what I learned it was called when I finally learned about these things. We're gonna do a little bit of upgrading on my DX Commander Nebula today because I, uh, let me, well, let me show you. After I think it's been two or three years of having this antenna, I started with these uh, dog tie down stakes and uh, you can see that this one is not quite the right shape and it's not in one piece anymore. Well, it's called uh, mowing. I have a mower and I've driven my mower over this stake and a couple others. I mean, there's three stakes and I've driven over all of them at some point in time or another. And it's time to uh, upgrade. These things worked great, but I've already broken the one. The other two are not far behind. What am I gonna do? I bought a pack of these from Amazon, uh, link down in the doobly-doo. And what I'm going to do is I have T-posts that I'm using to support another mast. And I'm going to drill a hole through the f one of the flats on the T-post, put this puppy through, shackle it up, right? And then I'll have a place to clip my tie down. This will do two things for me. One, it'll make one heck of, of an anchor for the antenna. It'll give the mounting spot more flexion than it currently has because right now these hooks are pretty much all the way down to the ground and there's not a whole lot of play in them. So when storms come through and move the antenna back and forth, this thing is wiggling pretty hard. With the T-posts, I'm getting eight foot T-posts and at least four foot of them is going to be into the dirt in case the moment on from the antenna pulling on it causes any issues it's anchored plenty deep and then those t-posts do have flexion on them they're made out of steel and they do flex so that'll give it a little bit more room and on top of that it'll also let me mow around the t-posts without me breaking another one so this is the one i ordered from amazon it has a diameter of just under a quarter inch 230 thousandths quarter inch would be 250 thousandths. I have a 250 thousandths drill that I bought. So let's go drill up the one that's already in the ground and uh, get my DX Commander Nebula back up and I'll do the other two uh, later on. Huh, I'm not even sure if I recorded any of that, but hey, <laughs> look, I'm, uh, I'm drilling a hole in the... I have a feeling that I have dulled up this uh, bit way too much already. I don't even see a trace of it coming through yet. Let me go find a different bit, hopefully a little bit larger. Come back to this. So I went to the toolbox and I got two different drill bits. One that is smaller and one that is larger. I'm gonna use the smaller one to get this whole stuff going. And instead of burning it out right out of the gate, I'm gonna actually use some oil, cutting oil on it. Drill bits are not going to do the trick today. Time to go to the high-speed steel. Also, today I learned that T-posts are way harder than I thought they were. Huh, either this bit is also dull or that T-post is made out of an obtainium. I don't know, it's one or the other. Okay, back to the drawing board. I gotta figure something else out because this is definitely not going through. Well, you know, nothing a little bit of brute force and stubbornness can't fix. Uh, I went back to the smaller drill bit and got the pilot through. And uh, now let's see if we can expand it to the larger size. Tell you what, I thought I was gonna do, do all these in place, but I think I'm gonna do these in the drill press. Obviously has to be drilled out to at least a quarter inch. And that's uh, what we're gonna do. In well, if it wasn't dull before, it is certainly gonna be dull now. <laughs> Let's see, do I? Yeah, my drill battery still has two bars on it, so keep going at it. What in the world? I gotta get a different bit. 
As slick would have it, I have another quarter inch high speed steel bit. And it is nothing but luck because believe me, I didn't, I didn't prep for this. I thought a regular drill bit would do the trick. Wow, this stuff, I'm like, that's a brand new bit and it's not punching through. Tipos are made out of unobtainium. Did you know that? Well, if the quarter inch won't go through, let's see if the 5 16 will. Seriously wondering what kind of damn steel this is made out of. I'm gonna try from the other side now, just to see if it punches through at all. You know, I'm not quite making it all the way through, but I think that's enough to get this uh, shackle bolt through. Let's see. Yep, it'll work. So let's put you there. And now I have a place to tie off my DX Commander Nebula. I only have one of the three broken, but the other, the other two are definitely on their way. But for now, I can at least get my Nebula up and running today and hopefully play some radio this afternoon. And uh, there you go. The uh, figure nine beaner, whatever the heck this is called, is in. I'm gonna double lash it here and then tie off the, uh, the other side. But now my DX Commander Nebula is back up, so I'm gonna go play radio. <laughs> 